move on. We'll move across the state. We'll talk about our boy Herm. There is no win total for them as it sits right now. Yeah, I was just about to say they're not going to have anything on the books now with all the chaos and ruckus going on with them. I will say they still have division odds out, uh, and they still have conference odds. They are second in the division at plus 180, and they are fourth in the conference at plus 450. I'd love to be able to get my ticket back. I can believe that. That's all right. Because, man, you and I were very, very high on them just a few short months ago. And now this NCAA stuff has put a, a cloud over the whole thing. Now, just two weeks ago, everybody was talking about, oh, the whole staff's going to get fired. Nothing's Listen, happened yet. If Herm can survive until game week. It, not just Herm, but Antonio Pierce and, and that whole bunch I that's think, there. I think we're okay. I, I, think actually so th- I, think, I actually think there's a chance that I might be okay. I think so, too. I think so, too. Because that guy's going to be able to get his team ready for Saturdays. Went 8-5 and five in 2019, 2-2 two and two last year, number 29 in the country in returning production. They bring back 84% of their production from last year. SP Plus has got them going. Uh, it's 9.5 and 2.5, so either 9-3 and three or 10-2, and two, one or the other. Um, Still got the best quarterback in the league. Uh, yeah, on offense, like, look at this. The running game was absolutely incredible last year. Uh, they finished second in the country in rushing success rate. Second in 20-plus yard uh, carries per game. They had three and a half 20-plus carries per game. That's just incredible. Quarterback Jaden Daniels, uh, absolute star. Yes. They've got a bruising offensive line. They've got a ton of skill talent. Like, this is this is what he's been building this offense for, right? Uh, defense, like the run defense needs help, but the pass defense should be great again. Like, this team was built to to compete and and possibly win the Pac-12 South this year. But, you know, let, let's for for our sake, FBI's got them going 9 and 3, SP Plus has got them going around 9 and 3. Let's set the over under at 9 just for us. Uh I would have them going over the 9. Yeah. If I didn't have to worry about the NCAA stuff. Um, but I'm not worried about the NCAA stuff. Because none of that stuff's going to take effect this year. No, I'm I'm talking none about if they fire the the staff. Yeah, but because I don't we're know. still you know we're still a month out. Yeah, a month and a half. Well, yeah, about about a month and a half, I guess. Yeah, if they can survive the next six weeks, I think we're fine. And if so, like if the if the but staff we're giving is there, you that information over. now though. Yeah. If if for some reason this entire coaching staff turns over, then then I would go under the. Then night. I'm changing. I'm changing my opinion. <laughs> But also the the win total would switch. Yeah, so, the win total is not going to be that if, yeah. whenever it hits a, hits a hits a book. So yeah, I be, I believe when it first came out before the NCAA stuff hit, I think it was eight and a half. Um, if these guys can make it one season, I think they can actually do something really special. I think they can as well. And then after that, after they do something special, you know what happens? They just give the finger to the NCAA and say, "We don't care." Yeah, we're keeping this thing together. We're figuring this thing out. The the Let's only game it. where they are projected to uh, be an underdog by more than a field goal is at Washington. That's the only one. Yeah. So that's the only quote unquote likely loss on the schedule. Well, and that's and that's but, a situation where it, if you win all the rest and lose that one, then you're at least playing for the championship. You got it. You got it. So yeah, I think it's going to be interesting. I think it's going to be interesting. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.